The world is weird. Let me tell you about it. Hi, I'm Greg Fish, and every weekday I have a new science, tech, or just plain weird story for you. Space, the final frontier. We've been exploring it for almost 70 years now, and hoping to spend thousands more learning how to survive and thrive beyond our home world. But we've also been filling our lower orbit with a lot of junk. And all that junk inside our trunk, well, inside our low Earth orbit, might just trap us here for a thousand years if we keep doing what we're doing without a very detailed, globally agreed on plan with proper contingencies for the future. There's already way too much stuff for comfort flying overhead satellites, used fuel tanks, discarded boosters, random debris, and now massive competing satellite constellations for global internet access. SpaceX's Starlink already launched almost 6,800 satellites with plans for over 34,000 in total. Amazon's Project Kuiper is planning over 3,300 satellites as just its first wave. And China's Qinfan, or Thousand Sails, is planning 15,000 objects in orbit. Astronomers and space agencies are worried that with an extremely close international regulation and a very solid plan for how to handle every orbit, incident, and collision, this space race could trap humanity on Earth through an effect known as Kessler Syndrome, after NASA scientist Donald J. Kessler. You see, the more objects are in low Earth orbit, the more chances for them to collide could be mistaken setting up the orbits in the first place. Could be a bad trajectory correction burn. It could be thanks to an impact with a micrometeor. Or it could even be intentional with a spacefaring global power destroying satellites with modified purely kinetic ICBMs. Fragments or one or two destroyed satellites will create a cascade, taking out more and more objects, which in turn take down even more objects, exponentially increasing how much debris is flying at 28,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 2,000 kilometers or less. At some point, it would become way too dangerous to launch new vehicles because they're almost guaranteed to be destroyed either during launch or shortly after. This is why we need things like global space control centers, contingency plans for orbital collisions, plans to clean up existing and future space junk, and designs to harden and protect new satellites, spacecraft, and rockets from debris. If we want to avoid polluting our planet so much that we're effectively terraforming it, and then also trapping ourselves here so that we can't even explore what lies beyond at the same time, we really need to start thinking and acting long term. And remember, if you like science, technology, or just plain weird facts about our universe, follow me here and on my newsletter, World of Weird Things, where I collect five must-check-out stories every weekday. See you next time.